Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Luxury Microfiber here in Dallas. Scott, what the heck are you holding? Looks like a dead raccoon on the end of the stick. <laughs> a tail of a big fluffy cat, right? I want to talk about something, guys. I just washed my car. I still got to dry it. Bear with me. But I want to talk about this little duster that I bought from Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't remember what I paid for it. It was nothing. It was like, I want to say it was like around $10. Folks, I want to talk about garage queen cars that we're trying to maintain. Maybe a car you only use on the weekends. Maybe you detailed it on a Thursday, you put it in the garage, and then Saturday... Sorry, folks. Then on Saturday, you want to take it out of the garage, but you got light dust on it. There's all sorts of ways to go about it, right? Some guys might use a rinseless wash and spray it into the microfiber towel, be real gentle, pick up the dust. Well, when we're talking about garage queens that have very, very little dust on it, and they're sitting there on the paint, this little duster, folks, this is no joke. I've been playing with this thing for several weeks, and I'm awfully impressed with it. It is lamb's wool. If I drag this across my arm, I can barely feel it. It tickles my arm. <laughs> Scott, what are you doing? Come on, stop it. We have things like California dusters. You guys have probably seen these, right? A lot of people use them wrong. They'll lay them completely flat on the paint and kind of push the dust off. We don't want to do that with California dusters. You want those little, you know, fingers on the California duster just barely touching the paint to push off the dust. They work really well if you use common sense and you know how to use them. Folks, this thing kind of takes you know, if you don't have common sense, maybe your awareness is not all that great that day. This takes away some of the problems that a California duster can give you. Folks, if I'm trying to remove dust off a Garage Queen, and trust me, it's not this car. This just happens to be my daily beater. But if I rub this across the paint, lightly across it to kind of push off dust that might be on this car from sitting in my car for two or three days before I take it out, folks, this thing is amazing. You barely need to let it touch the paint. Just wipe off the dust. You're not gonna scratch the paint. You know, if you use it correctly, you're just removing light dust. We're not removing heavy contamination off the paint. Hopefully your garage queen's got some nice protection on it, right? This thing from Bed Bath & Beyond, I know you guys are teasing me, is one of the greatest dusters just to remove some superficial dust off a garage queen in your garage. Somebody's gonna say, can't you just blow it off? No, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. We got like a static charge. That dust won't blow off. You got to push it off. But this thing from Bed Bath & Beyond, 100% lamb's wool, folks. If you scratch the paint with this, if you're just trying to remove light dust, how about when you're compounding a car and you got compounding dust on the vehicle? Got to take a microfiber and wipe it off, right? These little things can come in handy just to kind of wipe off or push off compounding dust when you're sitting there doing some paint correction and you don't want to rub the paint with a microfiber towel during paint correction. Folks, isn't that the cutest thing you ever saw? You can use it in the home too. If you scratch your paint with this thing, folks, trying to remove very light dust, man, something's wrong. I'm sorry, but that's my opinion. Even as I do it on this car that's completely dry, yes, it's got DPC shield on it, I can barely feel this thing gliding across the paint. A wash mitt is going to be more aggressive, even with a soap on it, than this little sucker right now. I'm not scratching the paint. I'm using a high level of awareness. I'm using common sense. I'm just pushing off dust. If that was the scenario I was in, or compounding dust, I love it. Ain't that the cutest little thing in the world? Less than 10 bucks, I think. Bed Bath & Beyond. They'll probably sell thousands of these things now. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Just wanted to share that with you. Cute little thing I've been playing with for weeks. I got clients that I see their cars once a week. They may not even have driven their car since the last time I detailed it. It's sitting in the garage. I've been using this sucker just to pick up and push off light dust. And then I'll go around with a maybe a detail spray or some type of sealant. And I'm done. Isn't that pretty cool? Love you guys. Talk to you soon. It's a little pussycat on the end of a stick. <laughs> Love you guys.